بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم الحمد لله I came here to see you يا شيخ برادر يوسف استيف I always see you on the internet الحمد لله I've learned a lot from you my name is نايل سابادو I came from the Philippines born in a Catholic family and I embrace Islam and I would just like to ask a question because the hadith that you have mentioned regarding the uh, who has the most rights after Allah and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was our mother. Unfortunately, until now, my mother is not yet a Muslim. Inshallah, Allah will guide her. Inshallah, it's always my thoughts, inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> How can I show respect and love to my mother, even though she's not a Muslim? Jazakallah khair. So, Yes, brother, I understand where you are coming from because my mother also did not accept Islam. And I didn't really understand. Some people told me when I came in Islam, you have to hate anybody who is kafir. Some people, misguided people, told me you have to hate anybody who is not Muslim. If they're kafir, they are, they said it like this, they are kufar. You have to hate them. I said, what about my own mother? Kufar! You have to hate them. One of the things that this conference is going to show us, all of us, from our dear beloved teachers and scholars of Islam, we're going to find that this is a big mistake, the way that they said it. We as Muslims always hate injustice. We hate dhulm. We hate anything that takes people away from the light of Islam. We hate the people who are doing the haram while they're doing the haram. But you don't have to hate your mother. You don't have to hate your parents. You keep praying for them and you keep asking Allah to guide them. Because even if they're not Muslim, they still have the rights on you. And the proof is not from me. The proof is not from today's shiyukh saying this or that. The proof is in this book, in Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse 12. I kind of make you think about Zachar Knight, right? Anyway. <laughs> but Allah, Allah is telling us about Luqman. And Luqman is somebody talking to his son. And he says, oh my son, you have to worship Allah alone without any partners. This is the first rule in Islam. Always that. And obey your parents in everything illa, except if they want you to worship other than Allah. This you can't do. But everything else, you can give them service and kindness. You can put your head on the ground. They can step on your head. Okay. But don't worship other than Allah. This is number one rule. So please, brother, keep giving them service. And don't argue, oh my God, here's another point. Some brothers told me uh, everything in Islam is debate, debate, debate. So I started debating with my father right away. When I got to Islam, I, I turned to him with the very same thing that I was debating against Islam. But now I came from the other point. And we would argue night after night. And my father would listen to me, I'm shouting, and he would shout, and I would shout, and some brothers came to my house, some very beautiful brothers. You know what they said? They said, don't do this. Your father has rights on you, and you cannot do this. You just give him service and pray for him. Within one week, within one week, I heard my father say these words, there's no God except the law, and Muhammad is his messenger. Your job and my job is to live the message, live the message, and let people observe and understand from our action. When the wife of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said these words, some people mistranslated it, I think. They didn't give the meaning. But if you would like to see the Quran walking, if you want to see the Quran in action, Look to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you think it means no? 
People saw Muhammad, they saw, they saw the way he was with the people. They observed something that we all need to know about akhlaq, manners, behavior. Then it's up to Allah. If Allah wants them to be guided, they'll be guided. So show them, give them the real Islam of Islam. Show them with your action. And then every night, pray for them. And the brothers that I met from Pakistan, the teachers that we had, they said these words. Be like a farmer. Plant your seeds in the day. And then water them at night. The seeds are the seeds of the da'wah, of la ilaha illallah. And then in the night, you get up and you cry. So it's da'wah in the day and du'a in the night. And maybe up to Allah. But before they die, maybe Allah will guide them. I pray for them and I sincerely ask Allah to guide them. Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Thank you, brother. Please, all of you, pray for his parents. Pray for all those who... Just haven't got the message yet. Let's make dua for them. Allah help them to see the truth. Ameen.